go ahead and get started. All right, guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, coming to you excited. We have tons of things to cover. And like always, we're going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. So before we get rolling, I'm looking on the screen, looking for any guests on the line. I don't think we have any guests on the line. So let's just turn it right over to Karina, our oracle, for the quick teaching moment of the week. And let me turn the mic right over to you, Karina. All righty. So today is a pop quiz. Question is, if a buyer does inspections on a home, do they have to provide that to a seller? Ooh, go ahead yes, and take yourself. No. Anybody? No. You can drop yes. it in the chat. All right, so Lisa said no. Yes. Cynthia said no. Um, I see some shaking the heads. Alun said yes. Blessing said yes. Heidi's shaking her head yes. Okay. The yeses have it. So per 12D of the RPA, the buyer must provide a copy of all reports obtained by the buyer except for an appraisal. And that appraisal is only accepted if it's an appraisal from an FHA or VA loan. If it's one of those two, then you have to provide the appraisal as well. And that obligation is in effect even if you cancel the transaction. They still have to provide all of those. And then the second part is, does that seller then have to provide those to a future buyer? Yes? Yes. So, and that part is clarified under their SPQ. They would need to update their SPQ and say, yes, there are reports that they need to provide. If there's somehow an exempt seller for the SPQ, like if they're a probate or a trust or something like that, it gets a little bit muddier because they don't have to fill out that SPQ, but they still have material information about that property. So they really should be providing those reports as well. The more you know. <laughs> awesome. Dan Sundberg had a hand up. Dan Sundberg, what was your question? Yeah, is it you required to disclose the inspection reports under all circumstances, even if you don't uh, like negotiate credits or anything? Yes. Oh, good to know. Yes. It stays with the property. Yep. And then FHA appraisal stays in the system for two months. I believe that's true, Blessing. Um, not 100%, but I know that it stays in their system and that anybody that gets another you know, FHA or uh, loan, they'll have access to that appraisal. That appraisal will stay in their system. Yep. Good. Awesome. Oh, um, you just told me the opposite. Yes, Ro. Contracts. Give it to them. 12D. It's, it's there, I promise. <laughs> All right, good. Any other questions, insight, feedback? I know Cynthia said, I'm so glad I popped in the meeting today. Lisa, did you take yourself off mute? Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, is that you? No. Oh, I thought the buyer did not. Oh, wow. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not new. It's just okay. something that a lot of people don't know. So there you go. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you, Karina. I appreciate the update. Let's go ahead and get right in. Um, and for uh, Jericho Black, for everyone that doesn't know your real name, who you are, let's just do a quick introduction. I don't think you've said hello to everybody on the team really quick. So let's just do a quick introduction from you, my man. And what um, office are you frequenting? So let's hear from you really quick. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I do need to adjust that name. Uh, so my name is Darnell Thomas. Uh, new to EXP, new to Team Fast. Uh, Jericho Black is industry name, music name, a uh, different career that Elias is telling me to blend and make one of, which I'm currently in the process of. But uh, yeah, no, uh, frequenting the Walnut Creek and Brentwood office as of now, uh, getting acclimated and just excited and happy to be here, happy to learn, soak up game and show y'all what I can do. I love it. I love it. It's really good to have you on the on the team. Uh, it was great seeing you in person last week. And let's go ahead and get right into the slides. Uh, let me go here. Boom. All right, guys, I'll hit present and then we'll just dive right into the content for the day. All right, guys. So um, once again, I know that there's things going on, but if I've missed anything, does anybody have an event that's coming up that they want to talk about? Educational event, client event, um, something that they're speaking at in the next couple of weeks. Anybody have something they want to drop? Going once, going twice. Yes. All right, cool. Oh, go ahead. Um, yeah, so at the Sacramento office, I believe it's February 9th um, from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm hosting a candle workshop, a Valentine's Day candle workshop. 
um, with a local business and family friend. So it's going to be lots of fun. There's going to be drinks, small bites, and um, you could take home your own candle that you make and give it to your significant other or have it for yourself. And yeah, come down if you guys can. Yes, I love it. And are you going to be bumping like love jams in the in the space too? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Two thousand times. <laughs> the slow jams that's that's my vibe that's right that's right i love it awesome you guys any other events going on that you guys want to drop and share with the team all right cool let me get right back into the slides you guys and we'll get right into new escrows for the week all right guys um you guys were quite busy this last week will and Derek got in contract for seventy four thousand. carla sandoval got in contract for ninety thousand, and julie the numbers agent got into contract for 375 so congratulations to everybody that made it on the board in this category and i don't think either of them are on so we will cruise on to the next so um lisa torres bo prior both got in a contract 389 300 bo four six zero zero zero, and then anna pacheco 529990 and 60 640 000. so congratulations to you three um lisa i know that you are here i know that you were leaving some or earlier i don't know if you have the ability to talk about this deal talk about your strategy what you went through with this buyer to actually cross the finish line do you have a second to chat sure um hey i so this buyer was someone that i was working with for um over a year and they i had challenges with their credit so linked them out with a, a lender that helped them work through all of that um, finally got him to an approval place and then he got cold feet with the interest rates um, and payment and, and um, you and I sat down and talked for a minute about really conveying to, to him in a, in a way where to make him understand like because um, this is a, a long time friend that I've known for gosh 30 years and so Oh, I think we lost her. So we will continue cruising on. I think her service cut out. So we'll just continue cruising on. But congratulations to everybody that made it on the board. Cynthia and uh, Junghee got in a contract for 615000 And KD and Bandana got in excuse me, contract for $721,000. Uh, let's go over to Cynthia. Cynthia, let's hear from you. Talk to us about strategy. How long ago did you get this lead? What are you experiencing? Talk to us about this deal. Hey, first, sorry, I'm not on camera on. I'm getting ready to go out on broker's tour. Um, so Junghee and I have been working with this client for a little while. Uh, we got him into contract and he was like, wow, of the 15 homes we saw, I really love this one. And I was like, nah, dog, we saw 50, 50 homes with you. Um, so it's a little bit shaky right now because we're not sure if he's fully going to go through with it. There's been some things that have come up in the escrow. Um, but this is the client that we beat out 40 offers. Um, Jung He's contract was just squeaky clean. Like Karina, you would have oogled over this contract. It was so beautiful. Um, but it just took, you know, lots of preparation for us letting the client know, hey, these, this is the expectation. This is what's going to happen. Um, but like I said, we've had some things come up, so we're not sure if it's actually going to go to fruition, but it's the power of, um, partnering because I genuinely would not have been able to do this one without Junkie because I had a ton of family stuff come up and with her, I'm like, take over. Like she fully, fully, I trust her like with all my business. So yeah, I'm stoked to be partnering with her. God, I love this. Absolutely love this. And this was a flex deal. So we were actually just texting right now. Dan, can you kind of give us a quick update, my man? Since this is a flex deal, based on what was just text between me, you and Kenny, let's talk about this, bro. I think it's 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 definitely worth talking about. Let's go. Uh, we are the only flex team right now in all of Northern California that have hit and actually have already exceeded our sales goal for the month. And I think Kenny was what, 95% of the teams are in the red for their sales goal already. And we're yeah, we just got a report back of the 22 teams in the Bay Area, all the way from Chico to Napa to Redding, San Jose. Um, you can't show the other team names. Not yet. Yeah. Um, but we're there's two teams in the green, and the other 20, 20 out of 22 teams are all doing really poorly, and we're just crushing it. So yeah, the flex team is growing. Our lead 
volume went from 70 to 90 or 90 leads up to was it 150 now um i can't see down my screen we're somewhere here yeah but we we oh it's top corner yeah we, we've had a huge increase in our lead volume and we brought on seven or eight flex agents in the last month cool yeah if you guys are interested in being a part of company generating leads on the Flex team, on the Zillow Flex team, on OJA, Off City, just reach out to Dan. We have a pathway for any any, any agent um, going through the right training uh, to be able to get a seat on the on one of those teams at some point. And there's also a lot of people rotating out all the time because there's pretty high standards. Uh, so yeah, if you want to get on, just hit, hit Dan up. So uh, Dan, congratulations to you. Congratulations to everybody that is on the team. And here's the thing, the better we do it, it always opens doors for other agents in the future. And so it's constantly, constantly where Dan's looking at how do I measure this and how do I move people into the right seats in order to keep those conversion levels high? Because the better you do on Zillow, OpCity, OJO, Realtor.com, whatever the lead source is, then the more leads we're going to get. So that means more opportunities for you guys. So if you want to get on the leads team, make sure that you complete your 30 day checklist, you do your spark hire and make sure that you connect with Dan about that pathway. Go ahead, Kenny. Just want a quick glimpse at the stats. So we're, we're number one. Perfect. Dan. I also just wanted to call out that the other deal on the sales tracker there with Bandana and KD was a Zillow Flex seller lead. That's our second seller contract too. So kind of opportunities uh, for you guys in the future as you guys are growing your business. Obviously, we don't ever, ever want anyone dependent on this, but I'll tell you what, it's a great way to at least spark your business and be part of the pie as you're building your business. So great job to everybody that got on the board. Um, congratulations to Jing. She got in contract for 761-500. Uh, she is relatively new to the team, but not new to the industry. And then Mark B, 995,000. This is also a flex deal. So congratulations to everybody. I love seeing what's happening. Let me see if either one of them are on. Let me see if Jing is on. All right, cool. We're going to cruise on to the next category. So, so Paul and Kuhn got in contract for a million dollars and uh, Jennifer Angel got in contract for 1615. So Paul, I know that you have a limited voice right now, but do you want to talk to us about this deal? Because we were looking and this is your very first fast deal. And so, so stoked for you. So excited for you stoked to see you partnering and working with uh coon he's had an amazing first year uh as a new agent so so paul you want to talk to us about this deal oh, sorry i lost my voice um yes i'm pretty excited um we ended up getting our clients um it's a, a soi client of mine's and i call coon because i'm like hey coon you know better than me um but anyways, um, we ended up saving our client 150 k and negotiated 30 k on the sell on the seller's credit. Wow. Yeah. wow. So, so, Paul, so obviously the first contract, there's tons of things to learn. If you can say there was yeah. one big thing that stood out to you that you learned or one big lesson that you learned as, you know, you put this deal in a contract, what was it? Uh, the inspections. <laughs> the inspections. Uh, this was a unique property because it's on a ranch. And so um, it's a private wells that I have to do inspections on and I didn't know nothing about septic tanks. We did some inspections on. So it, it was a lot. It's 14 acres of land. So it was a big deal for me. Um, I learned a lot because it was pretty huge. Mm. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. And from your sponsor, she says congrats as well. So oh, great job, uh, first of many and love to see that you're partnering with Kuhn. So great job to both of you. Thank you. All right, guys, let's just take a quick snapshot of this. If you have the ability to do so, 13 new escrows last week, totally in over $8 million in production. Not our busiest week, but not our slowest week. And so um, great job to everybody that contributed to our success from this past week. Talking about contributing to our success, wanted to go to Lisa Torres. She just texted me. She's having really, really spotty internet where she's at. Unfortunately, she might not be able to be on because she was had to drop off a little bit earlier. But Lisa Torres got into her first pending transaction 
transaction. She's a huge contributor in coaching, uh, music lover, all about Sacramento, you know, super mom. And so, Lisa, when you see this, congratulations to you. Um, and I want this to be an inspiration for the people that are still reaching for that first deal. Um, this was a very, very hard fought battle for her with a friend that had all the reasons why they were going to wait and wait the market out and time in all those things that she was alluding to earlier, but she was able to do it. The people are happy. So congratulations to you, Lisa, for making story of the fast rate of the week. Um, let's go over to, to Kenny and Molly. Do we have anything new from marketing resources, team assets and or the fast studio? I'm good. I don't. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So looking ahead for the people that were able to purchase their tickets for Focus and Fire, we are 100% sold out. That means that there is no space for anybody else. If you missed the opportunity, you missed the opportunity. Um, make sure to watch us on social or watch it on social on um, everyone's stories. But you guys, for the people that are going to be there, I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's an incredible, incredible lineup tomorrow. And you definitely are going to get your cups filled and so looking forward to seeing you guys there we will have other events uh throughout the year and another event that we're going to be having which is very soon is our year in review this is february 6th at 10 30 a.m in oakland um i'll be personally calling the people that will be recognized at this event this is a great opportunity for us to celebrate all of your accomplishments for 2023 we're going with a mid-century modern type of theme i guess we'll have more information about that like if you want to dress up so on and so forth but make sure that you guys are here block your calendar be at this event and it's going to be fun this is in person in hq february 6 10 30 we'll probably go till around 12 30 ish so make sure that you guys are at this year in review meeting um so you guys that's actually a very short meeting is there anything kenny on your end new thoughts ideas karina anything from you that we want to share before we start to wrap Kenny, anything? No, but my relentless reminder to please use the tracker. Please fill it out. Don't make me beg anymore. Please. Pretty <laughs> please use the tracker. <laughs> uh, I would agree. Uh, so I just wanted to introduce the newest member of the Team Fast Sacramento, um, Noreen Hawk Colombi, who's on this um, Zoom call as well. Noreen just wanted to let everybody know she's um, awesome and lives in Placer County and just wanted to give a shout out and introduce her to the team. What's that? I don't see Noreen on here. Sorry, I think I missed that. I didn't see. Oh, there she is. Noreen, take Hi yourself there. off. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Hi there. How you doing? Good. How are you? I am well. I'm well. Let's do a quick introduction, background, and why you, uh, you, why you chose to align with us. Noreen, you still there? Noreen, going once. Noreen, going twice. Okay. Yeah, she I'm, was sorry. There. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I am here. Sorry. My that's kind of in and out as well, but no, um, background. I'm a former teacher, been in real estate though, always kind of on the background. It was intended to get my license originally from Chicago. So I'm not a native Californian, uh, but moved here four years ago. I'm super excited to have joined this team. I was with a broker uh, prior to XP, but met Chris at an open house when we were looking for our own home. So super excited to join you all. Beautiful. Well, it's great to have you. Thanks for being on. I'm sure you are not missing that cold. And before we go any further, can we just look at Chase really quick? Find Dewey's screen and look at those cheeks. Boy is happy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Man, he's getting big. Um, all right, cool. Kenny, any other updates from you on your end? Um, East P Con Miami in... October, uh, early bird tickets are going to be, the window closes on the 19th. So if you guys want to go, $749. Um, outside of that, I haven't seen that much new articles in the market. It's but I am seeing a lot of people's stories about 20, 30 offers out there. I would use that as, take some screenshots, show that to your client, show that, hey, competition is back. You probably want to get in before it gets even crazier. So get your uh, client's feet out there. Yeah, you know, I think that's really good advice. Like uh, Cynthia's case earlier, you know, beating out 40 offers. You know, those are things that you store to use this third party uh, stories when you're talking to your consumers. Uh, so I love that. Heidi, what was your thoughts or contribution? You had your hand up. 
Oh, no, I, I should say something else. Like what I wanted to say was uh, it is cold out and wet out there. When you go to look at property, especially a vacant house, please take someone with you. Um, about a month ago, I was previewing property that was vacant, opened the front door, and I was approached by three squatters, one at a night. And I took okay. off. And so just be careful. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. 100% be careful. Uh, Darnell, let's go back up to you, big dog. You had a thought, contribution, or insight. Yeah, uh, I wanted to ask, I saw the focus and fire on the Team Fast calendar, so I just thought it was, you know, attend at will. But when I heard you say that it was, uh, you know, it was good pricing for the tickets at the last event, I was trying to find where exactly do I purchase those tickets? Is there a link or something that we go through? Yeah, so it was on Eventbrite, but the event is unfortunately closed now because it is completely sold out. Um, so I'm um, sorry you're not able to come to this one, but we are going to be hosting other events in the upcoming months. And so, um, yeah, this one's sold out. If I had room, I would get you in, but we're literally might even have a couple of people standing in the back of the room. No, no, of course. I was aware for this event. I just meant for future events, if I were to attend, is there a link that's sent out or is there on our site channel? There's use? ongoing events. You're on a site training events channel. And then we, oh, for we also promote the events through our email weekly newsletter, the fast events. And then we promote it through here. So there's a couple and and we 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 do video promotion. We done two, three of them on Instagram. So we make sure we hit all the channels every time we have an event. No, that makes a hundred percent sense. I I got just I just got introduced to Slack as I was getting all the information. Cool. So, yeah, that that makes yeah. sense. It's a no brainer. Once Thank once you, you get acclimated, you you won't miss uh you know those in the future. And so, um, looking forward to seeing you guys in the Brentwood office for you guys' huddles that you're having now. That's hosted by Christina and other people in our organization. So some great things coming up. And so looking forward to seeing those people that will be in the office tomorrow. I'm going to be in Oakland in just a couple hours today. And so uh, that's it. That's all we have for you guys. Congrats to Dan and team for being number one on Zilla Flex. Congrats to everybody that was able to get into contract this week. We will be releasing a sales competition this week. I'll just give you guys a quick little teaser. It's going going to be a two month sales competition with prizes, a first, second, third. So for all my competitive people on this call today, if you guys want to win some money, you want to win some, uh, you know, opportunities, it's going to be there. So we'll line all that out for you guys. You guys will see that by the end of the week. Really, really excited about that to make sure that we jumpstart our year in the right direction. So if you need anything at all, let me know. Um, I'll be on the road to Oakland right now, but yes, thanks for being here. Thanks for all your contributions and I will see you guys soon. Peace.